Shall I play some music for you now? Please do. Then I will play the way we were. machine. At the end of the 20th century, their relationship is changing. Both are evolving new forms and characteristics. The human body is being transformed by the technologies it has created. Its performance and longevity enhanced beyond natural limits. But is the body also being superseded as machines grow ever more lifelike with increasingly autonomous behavior? Developments in medical, military, and robotics research have traditionally defined this shifting relationship. But now a group of mostly male artists are employing these technologies to offer very different possibilities for both humans and machines. Their spectacular machine art performances are pioneering a new form that is as close to R&D as it is to the art world, or as alien. In Phoenix, Arizona, David Terrian stages a ritual encounter between the male body and the mechanism of epic proportions. Technology essentially has the upper hand on, on man. It evolves on its own now. The individuals in my performances are passengers. They're along for the ride. They really don't have any control over their destiny. Electricity to me has both the gift of life and death. It was one of the first things I started working with as an artist. The machines that I make uh, use upwards to, to um, 100,000 watts uh, per lighting device. And so we can get as, as much as uh, four or 500 amps flowing through the, the pads of the body drum. It's very well in a technological performance. We have uh, essentially taken one of the earliest forms of communication used and updated it, um, made it uh, potentially lethal, and uh, uh, given it a computer interface. The people on the machine, they don't have any type of preparation aside from the fact that they're given essentially safety instructions and told what not to touch, what to do if, if they have cramps or or serious pain. 
um, or if they, if by chance someone were to be electrocuted or, or receive a shock, then, um, then we bring them down. Strangely enough, it's, it's not very difficult to get people to commit to being in a machine for a performance. People are amazingly you know, forgiving and, uh, and also they, they have uh, incredible faith in other people. Therian's work is every bit as mythic as the Roman Catholic High Mass and it literally straps um, the human body to an electrified cross. It brings to bear um, memories of the Inquisition as a time during which the human body was made to testify against itself. dark ages essentially all technology was controlled by the church the church developed technology supported science now technology has grown away from the church but it essentially has replaced religion for many people as a as a belief system people have complete faith in technology Technologies throughout history have been brought to bear on supplicant or pliant human bodies and used to reduce humans to the unknowing and disempowered objects of surveillance. For this performance, we have uh, infrared scanning cameras that are capable of seeing in complete darkness. They give us information or take things away from us, privacy that we think that we have in the darkness. It has a relation to devices like MRIs and CAT scans and X-rays that I'm not able yet to use in the performances, um, which hopefully someday as they become uh, kind of scrap heap items, I'll be able to use machines like that. In the 20th century, the human body has basically disappeared and been replaced by technology in many ways. David wants to return the human body to invisibility. To do this, he violates the bodies in kind of massively violent ways, only in order to elicit the possibility of returning to us a kind of memory of what human being could be. The individuals in my performances are given power that they generally do not have. Now with incredible power surges touching a man's chest, uh, incredible displays of light over their eyes, they could be ex experiencing just absolutely horrible pain, or it can be some type of ecstasy with this uh, kind of this gift of electricity 